In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the Fetch Simulations website. So what you would do first is open up the web browser of your choice. After the web browser is open, go to the top and type in fet.colorado.edu. This should take you to the Fet Simulations homepage. Once you're at the homepage, you could do one of two things. You could either search the simulation if you know what you want in the top, or you could click the Play with Sims button if you're not sure what you want. For now, we're going to click the Play with Sims button. After clicking it, a page like this should pop up. Now, if you know the category you want to go to, you would select it right here on the left. We're going to use physics in this tutorial. After clicking on it, you should see this drop down menu with subtopics. For now, we're going to stay in the physics category, which would show all of them. But if you want to do this yourself, you could select which specific category you want to go to. So after searching, if you found yours, you can click on it. But if you haven't found the simulation you want to use, you could keep searching. For an example, we're going to use this one. After clicking on it, you should see a page that looks like this. You should see an example of a picture, and you should see three buttons. Now, this case is special because this simulation has a new way to run it, which would be run in HTML5. If you click this, it would be better to use it in tablets because it would be compatible. But if you're working on a laptop, it would be better to click the download button. And since this is an example for a laptop, we're going to click the download button. After clicking the download button, you should have a save as a window pop up. And it should say some part of the simulation. Now, I would suggest clicking desktop so you could save the simulation somewhere where you could delete it easily. So after clicking save, it should show up in your downloads. And once it shows up in your downloads, you can click on it, which should open it. Now, once you see this open up, you can start using the simulation. And then once you're finished with the simulation, you can just close it. And you could see it on your desktop. You could right click it and then press delete. And then once you've done that, you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you're running a simulation that has this Run in HTML5 button, I would suggest clicking that because it would be easier to run it and you wouldn't have to download it. Now, when you click on it, it should open up in a new tab, like this. Now, you can run the simulation in this as well, and it should run just the same. And once you're done, you can just close that tab and you just return back to the page where you downloaded it. And that's how you use the FET simulations.